Nigerians have been told to expect another hike in the pump price of petrol. This is as a result of the rise of the cost of crude oil, coupled with the depreciation of Naira against the United States dollars. Oil marketers explain that the cost of crude oil and the exchange rate of the dollar accounted for over 80% of the cost of PMS. Brent crude, the global benchmark for oil, rose to $94 per barrel on Sunday, the highest figure in the year 2023. Now, oil had started the year at about $82 per barrel, then dipped to about $70 per barrel in June, but traded above $92 per barrel in the past week. Although the federal government and its National Petroleum Company Limited, that's the NNPC Limited, had insisted that subsidy on petrol had ended following the deregulation of the downstream oil sector, operators insisted on Sunday that the government was implementing a quasi subsidy. Joining us uh, to discuss this is Mokhtar Mohammed. He is this, um, he is uh, an economist. Thank you so much, Mokhtar, for joining us. Mokhtar, can you hear me? I can hear you clearly. Perfect. Let's go straight to it. Unfortunately, we, we've lost some time to bad connections. Um, exactly what do you think marketers mean by quasi? subsidy even though the federal government has said sub subsidy is gone we're still having to deal with some under or backroom payments is that what they're talking about i think what they are saying is that the, the government may have to do that if they don't want them to increase um, the pump price of petrol product because the whole beauty of deregulation is um, market forces determining prices and these prices are not being controlled here in nigeria but international price so the international price for crude oil at when uh, the oil um, um, the PMS was set at once one um, five hundred and um, five hundred and eighty in Lagos and six hundred and thirty outside Lagos at that time was um, eighty dollars per barrel and it as it stands now is about ninety four dollars per barrel. So ordinarily we should see the increment in the PMS. So what they are saying, if you want us to continue to maintain this current price, then you as a government will need to pay us. Um, subsidy in whichever form name they want to call it what exactly can the government do right now because whether we like it or not we're in between a rock and a hard place um in terms of what the naira looks like um as against the dollar knowing also that this crude is not refined in nigeria we still have to send it outside refine it pay to import it back into the country and, and on the side there's still crude that is being stolen within the country and taken outside um, what, what, what does the government, what do they have to do to deal with this issue now? Because I do not know if government wants to run a quasi-subsidy uh, on this particular issue. Maxa, can you hear me? Sorry, Maxa, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Well, um, I don't know what the government is, is going to do at the stance now. It's either they complete their, their, I mean, they allow deregulation to go ahead or they do what, they, what the marketers are calling beside the regulation. Because um, the only way you can guide against this is if we're doing local refining of the petroleum products. As it stands now, we are not doing local refining of petroleum products. So definitely think the marketers are right. And again, like you said, it's not just the increment in poor price that is the major challenge with us now. It's the volatility in the exchange rate. Today is 800, tomorrow is 97 something. Then the next day you're having a 930 if you're not buying at the official market. So um, there's a lot of factors. So the only solution for it, as it stands now, if we were having local uh, refining of our petroleum product, and as it as, as is was made to understand, we made to understand today um, that the small talk about Dangote refinery will not even come into stream till sometime in November or December. So definitely we still have a lot of issues to tackle. So the only thing the government can do now is either you go back to subsidy or you allow oil marketers to increase the price, the pump price of petroleum. But again, looking at it the other way around, how many oil marketing companies have been able to import? We only had one that did it. After that, it still remains same of same. So NMPC still remains the sole importer of um, refined petroleum products into the country as it stands today. Mm. Talking about these refineries, um, Adjuri and Gilale had spoken about the fact that the, it, by December, we would be seeing some of these refineries um, start working. But he then put a caveat saying, 
Well, don't get too excited that, you know, the refineries are coming. Doesn't mean that, you know, fuel will be sold at a cheaper rate. So again, the average person, the average minded person is saying, so why the refineries? Why refine in Nigeria if we're still going to pay exorbitant prices to get PMS? I think the spoke person is just being uh, political. Um, if you, if you, uh, last week, sometime last week, I, I read an interview by former president Olusha Obasanjo, and he said it would be a miracle if come December the Potaco refinery starts working. Remember, before night was set to start working in February by the then Minister for Petroleum, and there is now the governorship aspirant in Bayesha State. So definitely, from February we are moving to December now. And for me, uh, we are we are, we are not we are, they are not too sure about it now. To the other aspect, what he was saying about, and we've said it before, is uh, despite your local refining of petroleum product, that doesn't mean that the product will come cheap. What it just means that the price might be low because of the cost of production. You will not be paying uh, for um, 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 sea water price, maybe and uh, massa price, or you are going to be paying taxes. You are going to be paying dumerage. You are going to be paying for every international water you pass through. All those charges will go. So when you remove those such such um, charges from 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 production, it might bring it down, but not necessarily so much because um, the still key determiner is that even Dangote refinery or potato refinery who still have to buy for in the international price rate which is going to be by dollar then the other aspect that might help bring it down is when you are refining in nigeria you don't have to source for dollar to pay so you just look at it maybe you have cash back in and that also could help bring down the price but not drastically i think that's what he means to say mm. um again with the the artisanal refinery this is the last um, question that i'm going to ask you um, I remember under the Buhari administration, former Vice President um, Yemi Shibajo had said that these artisanal refineries were going to also be used more like a backup to help with, you know, refining, uh, even though all the refineries would not be up and running at the same time. Uh, do you see anything, uh, you know, moving in that department? I don't think so. Um... The truth of the matter is that government has no business in being in refining, uh, uh, refining of my petroleum, petroleum product. As long as that space still remains in the hands of government, we continue to have the challenges where government need to sell this sell of this refinery. These refineries are not working; they are oscillate, and they will need to be sold off to investors. And government can use the money to invest in other sector. Or government can do a leasing with others and become a shareholder of this refinery. That's what I feel. All they talk about, oh, modular refinery, or oh, uh, maybe we're going to help them establish a refinery instead of shutting it down. I think it just all, uh, all does not make economic sense. The only economic sense we need now, get give license to, let's have more people build refinery. Let's see government sell up their share in some of these refineries. And then let's begin to get local production of refined petroleum products. That could just be the game changer for Nigeria. In terms of those who do business within the confines of Nigeria, people who have to commute, who have to use fuel, again, don't forget that this country is powered by PMS, whether we like it or not. Just a few businesses are um, powered by, you know, diesel. The rest of us deal with PMS. Um, how soon can we address this issue? Will it go away anytime soon? Will there be a stabilization with, again, the old benchmark going on the up and up? Will Nigerians, like I well, asked my former guests, will we be able to breathe anytime soon? Sorry, I don't think you will breathe anytime soon if we looked at what is going because what we are seeing in the international market is market forces. Remember, Saudi Arabia is cutting um, their own quarter, so that is creating artificial shortage. Remember, the Russian Ukraine crisis is still there. That's also affecting production from Russia. So definitely, um, that's international politics. And as long as that remains there, well, we won't have a breeder. Um, the only breeder we'll have is get stable exchange rates. If marketers can begin to assess exchange rate at the official price, that could help bring down the price uh, a little. But the, 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 the whole idea to change it is make sure you get a local refining of petroleum product. Anything outside of that is just a temporary solution to a permanent problem, and that will not bring a solution. We need a solution, and that solution is encourage local investments, 
and current foreign investors or local investors into this downstream sector, the petroleum sector, and also let them begin to build more refineries. Let not only have Dangote refineries. NMPC is a limited liability company. They should all be able to say, we also want to turn around our, our refinery, or, or we are partnering with, with this person and this person, or this company and this company, to make sure our refinery come on stream without government spending money. So it's, it's even not right now that NMPC is a limited liability company that government we are not saying they are using taxpayer money to turn around to, for turn around maintenance of NMPC. NMPC is a private company. If NMPC can go from Nigeria, get to Egypt, um, and and get a loan from Nance Bank to boost up uh, 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 our to create stability in our exchange with three billion to loan to CBN, that means they are they could also attract private investment into those refineries. If those refineries are really what they tell us they okay. should be, well. Mukta, that's the time well, that we have. I want to say thank you. Mukta Mohammed is the CEO of Finance with Mukta, and he's also an economist. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Unfortunately, we did not have enough time to continue this conversation. I'll make up for it some other time. Thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you very much. Well, that's it on the show tonight. We appreciate you for watching. Don't forget, tomorrow we'll be back here still talking politics within and outside Nigeria. I am Mary Anacone. Go follow us on our YouTube Plus TV Africa to follow up on all our previous episodes. Have a good night.